Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here after that coincides. So right here, I have taken double data type variable n bin f1. So right here, f1 initialized to 0, 0.0. Next F2 and next F3. F3 initialized to 0 0.1. Here after two integer real time variable x and x1. x1 initialized to 0. Now here after for integer type variable fact or tam and i so at your fact initialized to what here after control comes to this point, see out function. So whatever you double cut that display into the output screen, into fractional decimal number, and whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value 4.4. Here after control comes to this point, so n value go to x. So n value is now 4.4. So 4.4 go to x. Or since uh, x is integer time, so this receive only integer value. So at your x receive at your 4. And here f2 equal to n minus x. So f2 is uh, double data time. So n value is now 4.4, x value is 0.4. So if you subtract 4.4 minus 4, the value of 0.4. So 0.4 value go to F2. So add here the value come point value come 0.4 F2. Now here after control comes to this point while loop x not equal to 0. So x value is now 4. 4 not equal to 0. Condition is to that coincides. So add here equal to x mod 2. So 4 mod 2 remainder come 0. So 0 go to rim. So rim is now At your rim, so rim is now zero. And here after x1 equal to x1 plus rim into fact. So x1 value is now zero, and plus rim value is now zero. Into fact value is now one. So zero into one, zero, zero plus zero, x become zero. X1 become zero. So now any changes here after x equal to x by two. So four by two x become 2. Now here after fact equal to fact into 10. So fact is now 1 into 10, the value come 10. Here after that go up and check the condition 2 not equal to 0, condition is to that coincide have rim equal to x mod 2. So 2 mod 2 remainder come 0. So rim is 0 again. Here after x1 equal to x1. So x1 is 0, 0 plus rim into fact. So rim value is 0, 0 into 1, the value come 0. So 0 plus 0, the value come 0. So x1 become 0 now. Here after x equal to x by 2. So 2 by 2, the value come 1. Here after fact equal to fact into 10. So fact is now 10. 10 into 10, the value come 100. Here after that go up, check the condition, x not equal to 0. So 0 now, x value is now 1. 1 not equal to 0, condition is to that coincide here. Rim equal to 1 mod 2. X1, X value is 1. 1 mod 2. Rim become 1. Here after X1 equal to X1. Plus rim into fact. So X1 value is now 0. Plus uh, rim value is now 1. And fact value is now 100. So 1 into 100. The value come 100. So 100 plus 0, the value come 100. So 100 go to x1. So at here, x1 become 100. 
Now here after x equal to x by 2, so 1 by 2, x become 0. And here after fact equal to fact into 10, so fact is now 1000. Here after that go, check the condition, or 0 not equal to 0, condition is not to not go inside, here after control comes to this point. So at your for loop, I start from 1, and check the condition, 1 less than equal to 3, condition is to that coincide. So at your f2 equal to f2 into 2, so f2 value is now 0 0.4, 0 0.4 into 2, the value come 0 0.8. And uh, here after F2 value go to TAM. So 0.8 value go to TAM. So here I'm going to write to TAM. So 0.8. So since TAM is integer TAM, so and F2 value is double TAM. So 0.8. Or will go to temp, then that receive only integer value. So here temp is now 0. So here after f1 equal to f1 plus f3 into temp. So fn value is now or 0, 0.0 and f3 value is now 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 into 0. The value comes 0. 0 plus 0, 0. So f1 is now 0. So no any chances. Here they check if temp double equal to 1. So temp value is now 0. 0 equal to 1 condition is not to not coincide here f3 equal to f3 by 10 so f3 is now 0 0.01 and here after loop continue so at here i increase so i is 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 3 condition is so to that coincide here f2 equal to f2 into 2 so F2 value is now 0 0.8, 0 0.8 into 2. So this become 1.6. So at here, F2 value go to TAM. So F2 value is now 1.6. So TAM receive only integer. So uh, TAM is now 1. And here after F1 equal to F1 plus F3 into TAM. So F1 value is now or 0. And F3 value is now 0 0.01. So 0 plus or 0 0.01. And time value is now 1. So this value is now 0 0.01. So at here, F1 becomes 0 0.01. And uh, here after if time double equal to 1, so time value is now 1, condition is to that go here. So f2 equal to f2 minus time. So f2 value is now 1.6, 1.6 minus 1, the value come 0.6. And here after f3 equal to f3 by 10. So add here, this by 10, so it become add 1, 0. And here after that curve, increase the value of i. So i is now 3. That check the condition, 3 equal to 3, condition is to that coincide. So at here, f2 equal to f2 into 10. So f2 value is now 0.6, 0.6 into 10. So this become 1.2. And here, f2 value go to 10. 10. So 1.2 value go to 10. So this receive only integer value. So this is now, tamp is now 1. Here after f1 equal to f1 plus f3 into tam. So f1 value is now or 0 0.01 plus at here f3. So f3 is now 0 0.001 into tam value is now 1. So this value is now 0 0.001 here point zero 0.01 so let's add 1 1 0 point 0 so add here f1 become 0 0.011 0 and uh, 
here after if tan w equal to 1 so tan value is no 1 condition is 2 so f2 equal to f2 minus tan so 1.2 minus so 1 the value come 0 0.2 and here after f3 equal to f3 by 10 so that add one more zero so f3 become point or zero 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 one and here after that go increase the value of i so i is now four check the condition four less than equal to three condition is not to not coincide here after control comes to this point so b equal to x1 plus f1 so x1 value is now 100 plus f1 value 0 0.0 0 1 1 so the output come add here the output come hundred point zero one one so that your bin value is now hundred point zero one one so bin value hundred point zero one one here after control comes to this point see out so right here this or display into the output screen equivalent binary number and display the binary bin value so hundred point zero one one and here after that out from main function so this is the dry method of this program so this time i enter for n value 4.4 so you can enter any other number like 9.4 and you will get expected output so this is the dry method of this program so i hope guys you understand so thanks for watching see you in next week